I got a funny story about soap for you guys. I don't know why I think people want to hear about soap. Whatever, maybe we'll talk about that later. But first, <laughs> but first, before our amazing soap conversation, we are going to play around with Aster, the Fire Magic Knight. She is going to be the Hall of Heroes. Maybe by the time that you're seeing this, she may already be... Uh, Hall of Heroes may be open for her. Now, we already took a look at her in Necro, which is a pretty common place for her to be used. Currently is the Triple Inugami and Necro. However, today we're going to take a look at her in some other places that people really aren't talking about using her. We're going to test her out. We're going to see what she's capable of. And uh, <laughs> we're going to talk about self. First test, Secret Dungeons. Now, we're going to use the Tricaro Astro team for Secret Dungeons. And her first skill is Big Damage and... AoE, right? And I don't know why we didn't take a look at her runes before. She's got a tech or damage attack here. She doesn't have, she's not fully skilled up, which is going to help her damage out. But that's one of the great things about the Hall of Heroes is now we can get her fully skilled up. And we have the fire artifacts uh, and we have skill one crit damage, which is nice because every time the Inugamis uh, team up with her, uh, she's going to do 12% extra damage. So that kind of makes up a little bit for skill ups. But let's see. Let's see how she does here. Let's see how she does. Just wave after wave after wave of not even worrying about AI. Oh, that's so beautiful. I mean, <laughs> never mind. Let's say she's like, hold on about that AI. Um, fantastic. Easy wave clears. Easy wave clears. I'm sure I'm sure there's plenty of people already. They're like, big guy, I've been doing this. I've been doing this for 25 years. I've been easy wave clearing. Another nice thing, which I know is going to be in the comments. You can still put it in the comments, whatever, uh, is... The, look at how fat 32 seconds! What was the best time before? It wasn't 32. Clearly it wasn't 32 seconds. Can we get a new best time? Maybe if- I don't even want to farm this dungeon, but I mean, 32 seconds for secret dungeons. I mean, that's already kind of worth building if you're really trying to farm hard for these skill ups. I know some people- I know the secret dungeon squad because some of you love these secret dungeons and you love to fuse monsters for, uh, for skill for nat 5s. You're like, oh, I'm going to skill up Bailiger with- other Bailigers, right? So you do, do like, some of you like to really farm secret dungeons hard. Uh, this is enticing some of you right now. This super fast uh, secret dungeon farming, but... Look at that. How beautiful is that? Another 32 seconds! So it's not only, it's fast and it's consistent, and that's not even with her skilled up. Next place we're going to take her into is the Rift Beast. For, first we're going to try the Fire Rift Beast. Now we can't use a normal triple inugami with her over here because you can only use one of each unit however we can use a little bit of a different triple inugami so they are still these guys are still going to all team up with her uh and anytime they team up again she's going to use her first skill she's going to her first skill is the aoe it does big damage it's going to clear all the waves of minions uh let's see how it does and then we also have this here i was looking for something else that's kind of like free to play friendly that was going to be really good for here so i'm like oh you know we had a cannon girl secret dungeon and some people like to use the cannon girl here she's got some aoe's as well but uh should be nice she also has a leader skill but we have the dark vampire so we don't really need her leader skill but yeah you don't necessarily need to use her here i mean brandy would be good here there's a lot of different things that'd be good here what else is the damage based on no 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 no, no. like Zial. oh actually we have Zial. No. Bagel, just pick something. Okay. We'll just do this. We'll just do this. So, they're going to keep teaming up with her. She's going to use her skill once. I don't think I ever finished saying what I was meant to say in the first, uh, the other part. Um, some people like to do the Inugamis with the Homunculus. Right? Because the Inugamis team with the Homunculus, he's got an AoE skill one too. So. That's, be that's already beautiful. There we go. Already beautiful. And now you do your attack power buff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing it now. Much appreciated. Right, so we got defense break. Oh, we have we need a brand too. Lots of debuffs. Beautiful. Oh my god, so much damage. All right, so we're at 1.4 million already. We are at uh yep, we're going to be 2 million in a second. There we go. So, there's no shortage of <laughs> there's no shortage of damage here. Uh looking good. We are at 3 million. Yeah, there's there's no shortage of damage on this team. So let's see if we, I say let's see if we clear it. I see there being no issues with clearing it here. It looks like it's going to go perfectly fine. And anytime they do any team ups, are they going to do team ups though? There we go. Completely blast through all of those, uh, all of the, well, all, all but the one. This is why, this is why 97% crit rate is not 100% crit rate, guys. That's why, that's what it is. 
We needed three more crit rate. We failed at life. It's uh, like a, a, a budget. Okay, so she had her first skill. Well, <laughs> she had her first skill anyway. Be Bego, there's something wrong with that sentence. She had her first. She had her first skill. I'm sick. Her first skill was off cooldown. Her first. Her her first skill. All right, go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, uh, but yeah, so it works perfectly fine. She does uh, fantastically all those AOEs uh, works really great here next rift beast We're gonna try out in is the wind rift beast So she has element advantage over here, and she's just a big fire damage dealer. That's that's basically about it There's nothing she doesn't really provide any defense breaks or attack power buffs or healing or anything. She's just a fire Damage dealer, but she does a decent amount of fire damage, right? So uh, we have attack power buff. We have another attack power buff. We also have everything in the front row has some kind of healing, right? She's got uh, an actual heal. He's got his vampire skill. He's got a regen. Everything in the back row is more of the... Da well, th she's damaged too. Her skill three is all going to funnel into the one boss. So that's a lot of damage uh, for that. There's a defense break. There's a brand. There's a defense break here. Uh, all these three are big damage. She doesn't really provide any attack power buff or defense break or anything So I don't think that she's really a premium unit here, but it's still a decent like, you know, some people are actually having Maybe a little bit of trouble with this dungeon still because this is usually considered one of the trickier dungeons, but um, But yeah, so maybe this uh, maybe this helps people out with a farmable free-to-play friendly team because the uh, the fire sky dancer was also a hall of heroes, so you didn't even do- she didn't even do her, uh, her heal. Maybe- is she waiting for it? Based on the AI, were you waiting for, uh... An opportunity for heals? I feel like they should- Why is this Dark Vampire Lord not have good AI? Like, he- there's no reason he shouldn't be using his skill 3. We kinda need him to use his skill 3, but he's not using it. Right? Cause there's- there's really no reason he shouldn't be using it. I don't see any reason. Maybe in 2021, they'll hire an AI programmer. Is this- this is like a broken record, like every single video. Oh my god, that's so much damage. Crow does so much damage. Everything does so much damage. It's so- it's so fun to see these, uh, these Rift Beasts actually, like, just everything nukes for crazy amounts of damage. But we're at 4 million damage so far, which is not bad, and a lot of these units are just, uh... Like, one of them is a fusion unit. One of them is just available from the Ancient Coin Shop. Uh, two of them are Hall of Heroes. One was a previous Hall of Heroes, one is a Hall of Heroes from... <laughs> one is dead. Uh, one is a previous Hall of Heroes, one is a... this next Hall of Heroes. And then we have... boom boom. And then we have some second Awakened Monsters. So what do we do? Five million damage? Something like that? Yep, five million damage. Five million damage and very attainable units, right? Very attainable units. Also, uh, Fire Tower is not is not max. Some of these are actually missing some... I don't even want to see... Yeah, missing skill ups and... I didn't, even, I didn't even actually know that these were the runes on him to be honest. So, this is new to me. Missing skill ups too. Missing crit rate. Missing artifacts. These are not... Uh, not as fantastic as I thought. Yeah, these could definitely... Be, there's definitely improvement that could be made on these. Right? Especially if she's got some artifacts, she's gonna last longer in battle. So... And then he's got some... <laughs> I mean, as as long as it works, I guess, right? Actually, he should be faster. He needs artifacts, too. Well, there's there's a... Yeah, so this is, like, the not skill-ups. It's not like I'm showing you guys, like, premium endgame, like, pay-to-win runes and, and grinds and things like that. Oh, obviously, Bagel, you're using 300 speed violent units with crazy efficiency. It's like, no, it's not. It's just on this. And it's, it's doing just fine. And, uh, again, this is a fusion. This is a something from the Ancient Coin Shop. This was a previous Hall of Heroes. This is the new Hall of Heroes, and these are just two A monsters, right? So, and the Fire Tower again. Us, I don't know if the attack and crit damage towers may be close to being maxed or maxed. The Fire Tower needs some work, because uh, the towers are not maxed on this account, but still pretty decent. Last of the Rift Beasts, we're not going to take her into water. I think that should be obvious why we're not going to take her into water. So we're going to take her into the Dark Rift Beast. So the, the situation here is we want to do as many multi-hits as possible to break our... What is it called? The Soul Chain? Or the Soul Train? Soul Chain! Soul Chain! Break the Soul Chain here. Uh, so we have, again, very similar to what we've seen before. We have um, tanky units in the front row. And then we have four DPS units in the back row. A lot of things that team up with each other to do extra multi-hits. So let's see... Uh, 
Please tell me these twins are currently ruined. I'll be very sad if they're not. They're at least mostly ruined, right? I don't know. <laughs> Why am I asking you guys? <coughs> oh my god. Um, oh, I never said my soap story. Bagel, we don't care about your soap story. Oh, but you will. You will care about it in a second because it's an amazing soap story. Okay, so we did enough damage to... We didn't even need to uh, break through the chain. Um, we did enough damage regardless. So I have a new soap that I'm supposed to use on my face. What am I supposed to use? So, well, never mind. I have a new soap that I use on my face. It makes my face smell like nachos. Yes. Not joking. Every time I use it. I love washing my face now. I've, I, my face is so clean. My face is so clean and smells like nachos. I would recommend the soap to anyone. 10 out of 10. Best soap. I think it's Taco Bell brand. I'm not even sure. No, I'm joking. But, uh, but yeah, my face definitely smells like nachos. For whatever reason. So, this team is doing perfectly fine so far. We just have attack power buffs, defense breaks, um, and a lot of damage. We actually don't have a brand. Now that I think about it, we would have done more damage if we had a brand. But Let's see if we have enough damage to, or enough multi-hits to get through the soul chain, which we do not. He does a little, uh, little revenge, but we need some more team-ups, and then it really didn't matter. He had the soul chain on him, and we just did enough damage, and we didn't really take the soul chain off with multi-hits. We just killed with the damage this is actually close to the best damage i wonder if we just keep doing this with this specific team and we just maybe get a new score or if we uh actually skill up the units that we're supposed to skill up would be uh would be even better so let's take them into uh oh i have one more place that i want to take them into last place i want to take her into toa 100 not toa hard 100 because you can't do this in toa hard 100 you can't use three of the same units let's uh let's see how she does Three Inugamis and uh, Fire Magic Knight. TOA 100. It, was that not... Okay, never mind. I thought it wasn't teaming up with uh, everyone. So. I like how she just decides to go for... She's like, I want a defense break, everyone. I don't really need to uh, worry about cleansing the, the defense breaks off my own team. So. Yeah, we didn't team up with everyone in the last one, it seems, because... Uh, because of the defense breaks. So, when when our allies are... De oh, nice. They didn't even do the right skills. Lucky for us, right? Because if we, they did do the right skills, we would, be, uh, we would be in trouble. So, should we target something specific? Should we just target the, uh, the boss? I guess we'll just let them target whoever they're going to target, to be honest. One of them does a defense break. We should probably target the defense breaking one. Yeah, that's the one that is going to be a problem. That's the one. Actually, we sh I mean, this would have been great with Birdie Heal, but... Okay, <laughs> okay. So, so we're in trouble, guys. We're in trouble. Things that... Oh, never mind. She does so much damage. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, so this was very messy. This was very messy because anything that defense breaks lowers their defenses so they can't team up and continue to cycle, 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 cycle those non-stop skill twos um, when they have a defense break on them because then it lowers their total defense and you need that defense to be high to make sure that it always teams up with all the allies. So, I mean, it still did it, but it was, uh, it was not very clean. It was not a very clean TOA. TOA resets in four days. Oh, we got to finish TOA hard. We gotta finish TLR hard. Uh, let's do... I think we got some summons to do. I think I may need to make some... Space. So let's do that. We made some space. We got these 20 summons from this uh, Work Together With Friends mission event. Which, by the way, I see you got... Oh, okay, everyone logged in. Everyone did their... Wait, wait, who didn't do their farming? Joni didn't do farming. Shame. I mean, they did farming, but they didn't do... They didn't do uh, bagel level farming. Who didn't do arena? Night Mist. Wow. What a casual... Casual player night mist. <sighs> so disappointed. Yeah, it's not the first time I've been disappointed in night mist. Anyway, let's go. Uh, I guess we'll. S which channel are we in? S let's go into 7777. Let's do that. Because we got to make sure that we get another. This is a, a Europe server. So you know we're going to get another Nat 5. It was the first summon, Nat 5. I mean. <laughs> sometimes I believe myself when I say silly things because sometimes it actually happens that that's what happens, especially on Europe server. Second lightning, pretty typical. Uh, okay, this is actually we may need that. Maybe nice to get some uh, scalps on those those twins, right? We didn't get a we didn't get two nat fives today. Oh, jeez, guys, 
This is Europe, sir. We should have got two, three net fives already. 20 summons. Oh, something's wrong. I'm going to call Com to us. I'm going to say, yo, Com to us. Your summoning portal on Europe is broken. Didn't get a nat five today. Didn't get my daily nat five. <laughs> Didn't get my daily 9-5. All right, guys. Anyway, that's it for this one. I uh, just wanted to play around with... Did we see her everywhere that I wanted to see her? Maybe. Maybe. I just wanted to play around a little bit more with Aster. And we didn't even see her at her true potential. Like, we still have 20% more damage we can get here. We still have much more harmful... I mean, it's only a silence. The place that we were using her, the silence is kind of irrelevant, to be honest. It would be so much better if this was like a brand or a defense break or something, right? For the places that we are using her. But the silence is, I guess, okay. Or even a slow, like in Necro, even a slow would be nice, right? So, yeah, look at all that extra damage. 30% more damage there. 20% more damage here. We're missing all that extra damage. And she is a big damage dealing unit. But she's still doing pretty good for, for what she is. She's got a skill one that does big damage AoE with her uh, with her passive. 100% more damage if the enemy has more HP than you. Which, of course, is not going to come into play probably when the... Uh, so we're probably doing less damage in the... Uh, the lower waves of the secret dungeons, but it doesn't really matter in the lower waves anyway because they have less HP, so they die pretty fast even if you don't do as much crazy damage. So anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just some food for thought on the uh, Fire Magic Knight. So anyway, uh, I will see you as always in the next one.